Hello there, hello there, welcome back. This is Wall Crawl, and we're doing our All Achievements Hollow Knight um, run. We're doing our speed through 100% in under 20 hours. That's what we're working on this time. So, you're leaving Dirt Mouth, and we're going to be heading downward to the left. We're going to grab a, a, a grub real quick, and then we're going to head into Green Path and get a lot of what Green Path has to offer. So, going this way. Let's fall all the way down. Go all the way down in here. And to the left. Step over here, get this money. And now you don't have to struggle nearly as much with collecting money because why? You've got my favorite charm, the Gathering Swarm. So it's going to take all those little bitty buggies that are going to go pick it up, put it right in your pocket, and you don't have to worry about it at all. So that's really, really valuable as far as time's concerned. Save the grub! And back you go. So... Hopefully you're a whole lot more familiar about platforming and stuff like that. Because you've been through the whole game once already. So that's good. And a little pogo. And now let's just go and uh, scale our way back up. And continue leftward. Um, into Green Path. So hippity hop. Up here. Even though it doesn't look like we can jump all the way up here. We kind of can. It like sucks us up. And there we go. Remember, killing these guys, you may think, but I can't even get the money. Remember, Gathering Swarm is helping you out. It's got your back. Thwack, thwack. It's okay. You don't have to worry about chasing them all down. Right as you come in here, you're going to have to shoot this dude again that we just kind of dealt with, one of those. He's going to have to shoot you out something to get some soul with. And you're done. Keep on going now. Ah, I thought I had it. Okay, so here we are into Green Path. And we're just going to navigate to the left. We're going to try to pick up grubs and stuff as we go. Because the grubs are valuable to us. They give you good rewards. They give you percentage points. That are good to have too. But these guys right here that take forever for a hunter's journal, we don't have to worry about them. Not this time. Not in any more of my walkthroughs. Because we already did it. Got that out of the way. I'm going to hop up here. And uh, feel free to use the bench. Now you don't have to if you don't want to. Now there is a little geo node right here. Pick that up. And just keep continue moving to the left. There's Hornet. She says, Don't don't slip and fall in the poison water. But uh, you do it anyway, if you're me. Alright, gonna grab this money, because money's fun. I'm going to just shoot him because I don't like squits. They're definitely not my favorite. In the Hallowverse. The Hallowverse of Madness. Alright, hopping down here and get this money. And then you'll hop down here and you'll continue moving. Cut these ropes. Lots of rope cutting. If you get guys underneath, it's fun to crush them. I don't even know what hit them. Hey, crush you. I could even crush that squid. All right. And Cornifer is down there. Hop up in here. And uh, get that so it allows access to the, uh, the grub. Grubby, grubby, you're free. Fall down on the side. 
nearest corner of fur you want his map. At least I do. I'm going to go ahead and pick up all his maps. Oh, what a sweet little song he sings. He just seems like such a happy bug. His wife, however, seems like a, a pretty bored bug up there, managing a shop that nobody goes to. I mean, I, who can blame her? Man, I am crushing all of you guys. All right, I'm going to stay on this uh, left side. I just think it's easier. I mean, pardon me. This is the right side. And, uh, yeah, just go get that. Don't bother with trying to fight him over the poison water. Man, you just keep navigating this direction. Hornet's going to show you where to go. All right, she says, keep on following me. And watch out for the snappy flower the very first time. Okay, go ahead and get this money. And then as we walk by the snappy flower again, we'll finish it off. Thank you, snappy. All right, heading to the left. Again, Hornet, in a second, is going to show you where to go. It's this big, long thing. We're going to backtrack through here, and we're going to get Thorns of Agony and... Uh, some things like that in a moment, but the first thing we want to get is our uh, is uh, a, a battle with Hornet, and we're gonna get that uh, Bothwing cloak. That's valuable because it it speeds up everything in a speed run. So moving upward, and stay on this side first because there's money. And keep on going. All the way up by this bench. Because you have to. Feel free to sit on it if you want to. All the way up here. Pow, pow, pow. Up here, keep just going up higher and higher and higher. I'm not going to worry about going to the right right now. And I'm going to hop up here and uh, get this lifeblood. That's secretly in this room. And then I'm going to go down and fight this this leaf mini boss guy. Now, these are the guys that I use for my money farming. So you're probably, if you've been in my other guide, you're probably pretty familiar with fighting these guys. So just to hit, step back, let them swing and overextend themselves, and then come back at you. So, boom. Hit that shield. And then you jump in, you get them. They may hit you some, but uh, if you keep that up, you're going to hit them far more times than they're going to hit you. And you'll probably build soul enough to go ahead and heal back any issue that they cause to you. All right, let's move to the left. And we're about to hit the first kind of bummer that uh, I don't really care for. But um, this is about getting all the achievements that are possible in Hollow Knight. So we're going to come up here, and there's going to see see the uh, thing right up there. Vengefly King just chewing on Zoat. Sadly, we're going to just leave him to be chewed apart. And um, that will help us get the neglect achievement later um, when he's been eaten. So go ahead and kill these guys for the money. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, yeah. Okay, kill him. There's a whole bunch of money over here, so thwack, thwack. Yeah, we want this. Okay, you guys finally hit me. That's good. You can feel proud. You're gonna hit me twice. You can feel super proud. And then we're gonna break these away. And we have one more of these guys to fight over here on the right side because he is guarding a grub. 
So watch him pop up and get him. Pow, pow. Block him with the shield. Pow, pow. Block him with the shield. Pow, pow. There's that shield. Okay. All right, come on, Mr. Grub. You're free. Ooh, missed it. You are free. Hooray, hooray. Go back to your dad. Watch for this guy. Hippity hop over him. And down we go. I am going to jump just over here and cut this little log rope thing. Oh, it's up there. Oh, well, we'll get it next time. And down we go. Do stop right here and go ahead and get yourself a uh, a wanderer's journal. Snappy guy. Come on, snappy guy. Yep, pop him up. Get it. Cut the rope. And let's buy this stag station. Feel free to sit on the bench yet again. I'm going to hit the bell. Cha-ching. And off we go. Now we're going right back up and we're going to fight Hornet. And when we're going to get ourselves the Mothwing Cloak. And it's going to definitely speed up our progress. So, here we go. She's right in here. Just go ahead and speed through her dialogue. And uh, jump in and fight her. Now, feel free to be a little more aggressive. You're f more familiar with Hornet now. Um, in the beginning, the very first time you, you played Hornet, she was, uh, you know, a good step up from the, the Grudge Mother and uh, the False Knight. So, you want to go ahead and uh, dispatch her quickly. Yeah, Shaw. can be more aggressive. I mean, you fought her her higher level Hornet Hornet Sentinel version, so. Yep, pal. Ye hit blast. Okay, I'm going to heal myself up. And uh, she is out of here and pick up the Mothwing cloak. Yep. Now you can move so much faster. This is, I mean, like, so much better. Go ahead and trigger this uh, dreamer dialogue so they pop up and think you're awesome. Bong, bong, bong. Okay, blast you with dream magic or something. I don't know. Bubbles. And here you go. Let's get out of here the only way you can. This little training thing that tells you how to use your new abilities. And, uh, yep, we're going this way. I don't think there's a reason to go to the Lake of Un right now. And we're going to go to the right. I'm going to, you don't need to do this, but I'm, I'm going to actually hop back up and, uh, hit this log get it out of there as I said I would do it heal once and now we're descending all the way down okay so do some it's squid killing time all right just keep ziggy zagging down there's money on that side we'll probably Need to think to get it in the future. But just keep on going. Hit this little switch. Down you go. I'm actually going to jump up and get the money that's uh, all the way here to the left. Yeah, I'll kill the plant too. Come on, plant. All right. Now we go down and we're going to go to the right and we're going to pop up just a little bit um, in this next room and that'll get us to the uh, Thorns of Agony charm. 
and you're getting these charms and stuff um not necessarily because you just gotta have them you just gotta be able to to beat stuff with this we're going for percentage and so getting these charms helps with the percentage points you've got to have a hundred percent or higher of the hundred and twelve percent so um you, you've got to think about which particular things in the game you don't want to pick up and the things you don't want to do are the things that take a long stinking time or are really hard and create deaths for you which also isn't ideal and slows the game down considerably so now we're going to the right and we're going to fall uh, we're, we're gonna exit this room and to the right and then in this next one we're gonna fall downward All right, come on, come on. Ooh, I don't know how I didn't get blasted by that. Take your money. All right, there's a bench right there. Feel free to sit on it. We are about to go and fight us a, um, a massive moss charger. Now, I don't worry about killing those guys unless you really want the money for it. And, uh... We are going to jump up here and dash across now that we can get there. And here's the massive moss charger. Remember, as you trigger him up, try to stay over here about like where this pole is. And that prevents him from attacking from both sides. Pow, 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 pow. Hit him. And when he goes over, turn around and blast him if you can, if you have the soul to spare. Blast him. And pow, two, three. And he's toast. Not too bad. All right, here's some money for you. All right, we're going to call that good. I'm going to go back up. We're, I'm going to go ahead and save for now at the bench that's very nearby. And then we'll continue next time. So hopping back up. We've got the time to spare. It's going to be okay. I know we're rushing, but it's all right. Now with that video, now I, I'm not sure I'm always going to be on, accurate on this, but I think that pulls us up to 12%. So, all right, if you have any questions about that, um, let me know. Hit me up with a like. Hit me up with a subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I will see you next time as we speed through Hallow Nest. Later.